YouTube, my name is Gavin, this is GPTV, and today we're going to change the gear stick in my Honda Accord or Acura TSX, um, the, the 8th gen, uh, this one. I'm going to change the gear stick because the gear stick it looks like this. I'm just going to change it. I got one from, um, I think it was AliExpress or something for 15 euro, maybe 20 euro, including shipping. I can't remember, but um, it looks identical to this one. Now, it's obviously going to be cheaper, but it looks identical. So, yeah, as you can see, the, the leather is all, the leather is all peeling off it there. Um, it's all faded around here. Very hard to see it's all faded around here you see the way the the chrome has kind of gone off of it it's a uh, it's kind of worn down a bit i don't know about this i might keep my actual knob itself but all around here you see is all worn as well and then this part here this sort of color i want i might take that off and keep that color but i'm, I'm definitely going to change the bag because the bag annoys me and here's the new bag anyway and see the color is different See the collars are different on them and um, so I might keep the my original collar and my original knob because the you know the quality is obviously not the same but this car is just a daily driver it's not a Civic Type R EK9 it's not you know it's not a Euro R CL7 you know it's not a car that's expensive and I'm not going to throw expensive it's a diesel I'm not going to throw expensive things onto it when I don't know what the future of the car is, if I even keep it or not. So I'm just going to put these things on. I don't even know, actually. I'm, I might not. I don't know. I don't know about putting the gear knob on, but I'm definitely going to change the gator if I can, if it fits. I don't even look to see if it fits, but you'll see. Um, but I might even change this because that is only held on by a cable tie. I'll show you. there see just a cable tie holding that on i'm assuming it's the same on that one i, I reckon that's a screw on color but we'll see what, when i open her up what it looks like and um, yeah let's get into it could you do me a favor before we start this video please like it comment share subscribe whatever it is but at least just like it that would be great for me um, also, there is, uh, I know this sounds a bit cheeky, but there is a, a link in the description to my PayPal if you would like to, you know, throw something in there to help me out with these videos. It would be great because um, I'm still I'm still short of the 1,000 subscribers needed to be able to put ads on my video so that I could get like two euro off each video or something. I don't know, but um, yeah, just until I can get to that point where I can make ads, if you would like to... Um, help me out and put some something into PayPal that would be great it would be fantastic to be able to buy these little things that that um that you guys want to know about would be great okay so firstly I want to remove all of this because I, I have to this all just sort of clips in it all it all just sort of pushes down so I just have to remove them all Um I think I might start there or, or maybe there Anyway, it should just pop up. There's just clips holding this in anyway, so it should just pop up. If you can, don't use a screwdriver because the screwdriver will mark this, okay? So try to use these things. Try to use these things. And um, just open, pull it from there or even here. Actually, look, if we do this, this should pop up. There we go, see ya. And maybe... Okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe this as well. So that comes up. This whole thing should come up. I'm gonna try to do whatever I can with my hands uh, rather than tools because some people don't have tools. Um, you know, you may have screwdrivers, but as I said, you will mark the side and you'll probably crack this if you start using a screwdriver. So best to try and use your hands as much as you can. Like put your hand in here, pull up, um, 
there's there's just a few clips all the way around it that's as far as i know there's a few clips all the way around it so just pull it up and see can we just wiggle it out or something and um, if you can't then use whatever you can there see it's not it's not even in that hard it's just about wiggling it the right way um, I need this side up here and this does this go with it it does go with it so you know, I'll try this there we go it's out this this corner here now this this corner you know what put it in gear put it in gear and break off Urgh. Try and get in this way. Ugh. This doesn't want to come out this corner anyway. Right, I might have to use something here. Let me use something like this or something. Okay, this one doesn't want to come out. We'll try and figure that out anyway. Um, maybe, maybe get down the back of this here. No, doesn't want to come out this one. Now, um, I'll try. Let me try this. have it I think I have it no I don't Arr, come on not if I work it this way ha 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 wee wee yes 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 no 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 I think I'm breaking it Ah, there we go. Now, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put the handbrake back on. Take it out of gear again. Raise it up. We have clips for the heated seats. They usually just have a little um, pull tab on it. Just a little piece here you just have to push in and then pull it out. Same with the other side. And then we should be pretty much off and get in underneath and remove the screws now do not let your screws fall down there because if you let them fall down there you might not get them back boy now these are the clips that you have underneath they all just pop out and then this is where your heated seats this is where your heated seats are plugged in. These are the clips. They all just pop out. And if you are replacing your cup holder, I'm assuming that you just remove these screws and yeah, you replace the cup holder. As of this part here that retracts, that retracting mechanism is all to do with this part here. If yours doesn't retract, Take it out and have a look at this spring here. This spring should be under tension. If it's not under tension, if this piece is off, then that's not going to retract properly. Hey, I think I need to just cut this. It's like a cable tie, but it's not a cable tie. So I'm just gonna cut it off anyway, see how it goes. Oh, it is, it's like a it's like a backwards cable tie. Um, yeah, it, it is a cable tie, but it's just sort of put in backwards or reverse or something. I don't know. All I've done is just slid this gator up over the collar. And then inside here, there are two little clips. That little clip, you have to push it in with a screwdriver or something. You have to push that in and the other one on the other side at the same time. 
Okay, I think I have it. Oh, that collar comes downwards. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. It's only literally just a just a plastic collar. It's not steel or anything like that. It's just plastic. So I'm assuming then the whole gear stick should rotate. Yep, there we go, screw on. Like all the older Hondas, just screw on. And there we go. Gear gator off. So you can see the condition that it was in there, look. There was holes there. There's another hole on that side. There's a hole on the top here. Okay, the two gear knobs. This is the original and it's it's weighted, it's very heavy. And then this one is much, much lighter. I'm after being just having a look at this, didn't know whether to change it or not. I'm definitely gonna change it. If you look at right there, I was just scratching that and it came off, the, the paint came off of it. So I'm assuming because I wear a ring, I'm assuming that the ring is just gonna scratch on that all the time and it will just start to wear away and it'll just look ugly. So I'm just gonna change it for this one, the, back to the original one. Take the cable tie off, put a new cable tie on. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So just gonna remove the old cable tie. Wee ow, that was really cheap. My God, that would have broken in no time. That was so, hold on. That was so cheap. I could probably break this by pulling it. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's cheap. Okay, I have a new one. This is my own and as you can see, they don't break. So that's, that's what you want, a nice strong one. I had to pull the new one out. Stick the old one in. Like so. And then put your new cable tie around it. And, oh God, this is small. Right. Okay, I'll just put two together. Now shave off the excess. There's what it looks like. Doesn't that look nice? Apart from the faded paint down here, but that's nice. Now I'll, I'll probably have to just turn it around to, to match where the original one was, but that's not a big deal. Just have to turn it. I'm still in two minds whether to use my original gear knob or the new one. I just think that the new one is a bit cheap feeling and I like a weighted gear knob anyway. I like them to be heavy. I think I'll just put the new one on. Before I go any further, I think I'm just gonna clean up all this sort of crap around. I'm going to screw this in now. So this is what the back of it looks like. There's only four screws. I'm gonna screw this in. I'm gonna put it back on like that. And then I'm gonna put the gear knob on. Okay. Now we install the screws. So we have one going here. I'm using the wrong screwdriver for this here. Um, it's just, it's too big. But hey, still fits. And if it fits, put it in. Handbrake on, not in gear. Use this to hold it. You up out of the way and um, plug these back in. Like I said, there's a small little button on the side of them, just make sure they're going in the right direction. And then feed that up through, feed that up through here. Now, before I press everything down, I'm going to make sure that the new gear stick actually fits on and does whatever it's meant to do, and to make sure that this is all the correct way and um, so I'm just gonna start screwing it on you don't want to screw it too much because if you screw it too much it can break this because this is steel this is plastic it's just gonna break so screw on I think that's enough it's, it's tight enough it's straight enough and um, make sure that the clips are in the right way 
then this is it. Now turn it back now. That's it, done. Push that all down out of the way. There it is, there, look at that. Much nicer. Now just press all this down. Make sure it's all in straight. Job done. It feels okay. It's not too bad. I could maybe take this off and retrofit a new, more different type of a carbon, or I don't know, a different type of a gear knob on if I want, but I actually really do like this style of gear knob. It's um, the, it, it, the same kind of style gear knob came in Civic Type R's and stuff, and I really do like that shape. I've always liked that shape. I don't like bigger ones. I don't like the ball. I don't like dildo type ones that are just long and skinny and whatever I don't know I just like that style underneath this gear gator you could cable tie up this and then have any style gear knob on you wanted or you could just take that gator out and cable tie the inside of this and then you just have the shaft down I've done that in my prelude this is a blocks gear knob this is a weighted gear knob it cost me like I think 70 euro for this gear knob on its own as you see that style is the style that I like and what I done was I just put a nut at the bottom of the treaded part and then screwed tight to the nut and then this part here is literally just shrink wrap so I have my gator is cable tied down here it's cable tied backwards down there and I just have a, a shrink wrap here and then a, a, a nut at the bottom of the tread and then that knob is tightened onto the tread so it works perfectly it doesn't move doesn't nothing but it looks nice as well i think it looks nice anyway especially with his hat on he he look at his little hat he look at his little hat <laughs> so that's it thanks very much for watching please like comment share subscribe please 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 like comment share subscribe please like comment share subscribe and also please like comment share and subscribe for more uh, bye. This ain't over.